So, Reid, how significant is this deal in terms of the operations of both Renault and at Nissan? Well, if you think back to Carlos Ghosn's arrest back in November of 2018, that really was the beginning of this entire saga, which is finally coming to uh, culmination right now. It his arrest destabilized the alliance and um, emboldened uh, Nissan to seek a, a more balanced uh, capital cross shareholding with Renault. And now with Renault needing cash in order to transform itself, into two companies, uh, one with combustion engines and power, powertrains and the other with uh, electric vehicles. Uh, Nissan has that cash in exchange. Uh, Nissan is going to get uh, some degree of independence that it's always sought. What does this mean for the finances of both car makers? Yeah, that's a really interesting question. Uh, Nissan, you know, it does have cash. It has about $10 billion uh, equivalent as of the uh, end of uh, June. Uh, but it is uh, reportedly, according to our uh, reports, uh, looking to repatriate some of that cash from China in order to uh, pay uh, roughly $500 million to $750 million uh, to invest in Renault's EV business. Uh, for Renault, it's it's a bonanza. Uh, they're going to get uh, much needed cash in order to, uh, you know, make this transformation and, and really just keep operations going after the hit they took after pulling out of Russia earlier this year. So what would, should we expect next? Uh, there is an event coming up next month, right? Exactly. So the big announcement is supposed to happen on November 15th. Uh, you, you really what we need to be on the lookout for is any potential delays due to uh, concerns or intervention by the French government. The Japanese government is also a bit concerned about the transfer of uh, IP or, or technology uh, uh, as part of Renault uh, reportedly going into partnership with Geely for its sort of legacy legacy engine and combustion um, engine and powertrain uh, business. So that's those are X factors to look out for. But at the moment, it does look like both sides are going to, uh, you know, seal the deal before mid-November. And uh, we'll mm. see the announcement then.